Hello, and Randy here playing Farming Simulator 22 on Elk Mountain, Wyoming. And we're uh, picking up where we left off here from last episode. Pretty much the only thing is I did drive up to our road here that we built up to the mine. Um, I started to go up the road, Evan, and I thought, you know what? You folks might want to hear this because this uh, this truck sounds pretty good, Evan, hauling this load up the uh, mountain. Uh, so for those of you who seen the la end of last episode, uh, well, last episode we sold some gold, right? We sold quite a bit of gold, and I would say we made a pretty good amount of cash off that. I just realized my uh, HUDs are hidden again. I don't know why the game does it. Anyone else have that, Evan? You start the game and all your HUDs are hidden? I don't know why it does it. It does that sometimes. Uh, but anyway, uh, so yeah, last episode we picked up a brand new to us excavator, a Volvo EC950. <laughs> and uh, just for cyber reference, there's a, um, a John Deere 700 bulldozer sitting on the back here. Now, keep in mind, everyone, for those of you familiar, like a John Deere 700 bulldozer, that is no small bulldozer, everyone. Um, and in fact, I would warrant most people have probably seen uh, a bulldozer of this size, a John Deere 700. It, it is a good size bulldozer, by the way. John Deere 700, I mean, it's one of the bigger, like, regular sized bulldozers you folks have probably seen, like, on most construction sites. I would say probably more like in the 600, yeah, probably 600 range, I would say, is probably what mostly you see. But this is a John Deere 700. Sitting next to that, uh, yeah, that Volvo 950. Yep. Okay, anyway, I'm heading up the mountain here. And I'm probably going to be quiet during this because this truck is fairly loud. I mean, it's just sitting here idling and it's loud, right? So anyway, up, up we go. Oh, there we go, and we made it. Like I said, that was just, uh, I thought, too good to uh, not share on the uh, the video here. So I hope folks enjoyed that. Just a little bit of a, uh, yeah, that, that truck just roaring its way up here, essentially. Oh, we're going to get stuck here. Oops. Okay, I guess we're on loading right here. Works for me. Get that. Oh, you know what? Uh, did the straps? Crap, the straps are on yet. That might be. Uh, I think I can turn these off by hand, maybe? Maybe. Problem is going to be getting to that one. That might be a little more interesting here. Got it. I think you gotta have, well, maybe not. I don't know if you have to have all the straps off. I think you do, though. At least the ones that are covering the piece of equipment, though, anyway. That's interesting. Wow, it actually has... I mean, okay, I guess, whatever. Doesn't seem like it does a whole lot, but... Are there more straps under there? I guess that might be it. Okay, I think we've got all the straps turned off. We look under there, yep. We should be good. Let's hop in the excavator here. I'm gonna just raise that uh, bucket up here. Hope we just uh, back that right off there. So yeah, rather uneventful uh, trip up here, I would say. Oh, this excavator. Oh, she is not fast at all, is she? Evan? Not fast. Oh wow, I just seen the speed on this a whopping four miles per hour. Yeah, you're not going very far, very fast with this, are you? Wow, look at the size of this thing. Keep in mind, Evan, our current uh, excavator here was the Doosan... Was it 800? I think it's 800 there. And not exactly a small excavator there either, but uh, this thing, I went, wow, this thing's just huge. Uh, slightly larger bucket by, I think, like 10,000 liters. We are using the, the oversized option on it, which, you know what? I might not even be able to get into our mine site here. Hmm. Maybe I should have kept going. Yeah, I guess I should have gone this way, shouldn't I? I forgot there's a ridge here, I and mean, I don't think we're going to make it over that. Back this way. Change my mind. Let's maybe get the 
bulldozer off there, man. And then we'll just, uh, we can go right down this road here, I think. I'll we'll have to go around that other side there. That'll probably be the easiest way to uh, get in here. Let's see what's here. Uh oh. Why does our stick not work? And neither does our bucket. One of my joysticks not working? Oh, the joystick's working. Up and down. Oh, there it goes. Okay. Well, where's my bucket? My bucket still is not working. This use a different... I wonder if this uses a different control or something. Up and down there. Okay, it's working on the... Uh, Yeah, our bucket. Okay, we'll have to. Uh, yeah, we'll deal with that here in just a minute. But hop in the ex other excavator, see what's if it works in that excavator. If it does, then I know apparently the Volvo is using a different uh, control for the bucket. We'll just have to figure out which one that one is then. Hopefully, not too big of a deal. Then I brought the uh, the John Deere bulldozer, everyone. Uh, just if I wanted to push stuff around, I wanted to see if this one would work any better or not. Uh, again, we have the Cat D11. I went massive bulldozer, but it doesn't really work that well for pushing stuff around. Um, you know, why am I going this way? I probably need to go this way with the bulldozer too, don't I? Um, I think that's probably more a limitation of the game, to be honest, Evan. I don't think that's really uh, necessarily the equipment's fault completely. It might be somewhat, but uh, not completely. I don't know. Oh, and there's the D10. Aha! Uh -huh. I was going to say, I thought I had the D10 yet. Yeah, I couldn't find it yesterday. I got it parked up here, don't I? I was going to try and see once how well the D10 pushed the material around, if there's any and or much of a difference. Probably not, if I had a guess, but wanted to try it. And all three of our uh, bulldozers here do currently support Terraform. Again, I mean, Terraform is the mod that is allowing us to dig and push. Well, not necessarily push material so much, I would Push a material, that is somewhat of an in-game function, somewhat. Like, that's not even working at all, is it? Yeah, that's like not even doing anything. Uh, again, I'm going to keep in mind, I have not turned a Terra Farm on, but in theory, I really shouldn't have to, because we're just uh, pushing material. In fact, I don't even know what settings we would necessarily turn on for this. Switch it to dirt, I suppose. So dirt, I mean, yeah, what, what, what would we turn on for this? Terraform, material, discharge, material. Okay, we just do material. Yeah, it's not really... Well, I guess it's maybe... Nah, it's not really changing anything, to be honest. I mean, it's just mushing it out, really. Kind of what the D11 was doing as well. Yeah, again, like I said, I'm fairly certain this probably comes down to more uh, in-game mechanics and or maybe I should say lack thereof of in-game mechanics. Yeah, you know, again, keep in mind, I mean, this... It's farming simulator. We're not really construction simulator right here. Mining simulator. Game's not, I would say, designed to do what we're doing with it, unfortunately. Not to say it couldn't be, you know, some minor tweaks here and there probably would go a long ways, but uh, alas, I'm a glass. Hopefully we can now reconnect this here. There we go. Back, let's back out of here. Now they're unloaded. No problemo. We got a nice uh, flat spot back here. We can just kind of park this in by the trees. Good spot to me, anyway. Okay, works for me. We'll just leave that uh, right there. Let's go grab our excavator here. Run down into the mine here. Uh, we'll start uh, digging some dirt and get our trucks a rolling. And of course, I'm speaking of uh, trucks here. For the little uh, bobcat was—I didn't even see that at first.
Nope. Let's see, nothing on the bucket yet. Okay, stick is working, turns working, that's all good. Nothing on the bucket, though, eh? We'll have to figure that out here in just a minute. But first things first, everyone. Oh, let's get a size comparison, right? I think we got a. Get this one going here. Pivot this one around. Let's see which way he's forwards here. That way. Okay. That. Oh, yeah. And then the bucket is... Okay, so I'm guessing I'm gonna, uh, the Volvo must be used in a different uh, control or something. Yeah, there we go, Evan. Again, you know, the Doosan here, DX800. Definitely no uh, small excavator, but when you park next to the Volvo here. Uh, wow, that's a uh, yeah, that, that slight size difference. Okay, enough of that, Evan. Let's go grab our Volvo here again, and let's uh, let's start digging, Evan. Let's start digging. Speaking of digging here, I need to get my belts uh, like lined up a little better here again. I think we got a little, uh, little miss of line here when we were uh, doing this here last time. Let's get that extended all the way out. I'm gonna pick that up and uh, just kind of straighten it out here, I think. I'm telling you folks, these things drive strange. Oh, come on now. That's why I usually pick them up at them because they're just their, their driving is terrible. There we go. Make sure we straighten the wheel out. Slowly inching it forward. We do have a little bit of dirt on there, so once we get there, we should be good. Yep. Okay. Now we get this last one now lined up here again as well. Pick that one up here a minute. I think there's a little bit of dirt on this one, too. It looks close. Apparently, looks don't quite count there. There we go. Yeah, it works for me. Let's uh, call that good, Evan. Let's uh, let's start digging here. Oh wait, before actually, that's right. Before we first start digging, everyone, uh, let me get back in uh, the dew sand here a minute. Okay, so it must be on a different mouse control, Evan, because I'm trying to get the bucket to work here. What's the bucket? Up and down and turn. Ah, both mouse buttons, everyone. Okay, so for the do stand, it's both mouse buttons to operate the bucket. Like, Spike must be autosave, maybe? Yep, there we go, autosave. Uh, on this one, everyone, it is simply one mouse button. The uh, right mouse button operates it. So we just need to figure out uh, which one is that, I wonder. I wonder which one that one is. And it's supposed to be, yes, okay. Left and right on my second joystick here. So let's go down to our controls here, man. And this is what I had to do the first time when I first set this up. Actually, we need the gamepad. Uh, when I first set this up, I had to get in here and figure out which ones they were. So it's under... Under front loader? Or crane. Because they have both crane controls and front loader controls. Front loader arm, front loader tool. Let's 
Maybe I should go back to keyboard here real quick. I haven't seen once what the keyboard is. So for keyboard, right. I think it's that one, right? At least on the front loader anyway. So what is it down here? Right. Extend crane arm possibly. Actually, let's try it on the keyboard here. So left shift K. Oh. So it is M and K. I went with shift. So shift K and M does it. So left shift K and M. So it is extend crane arm most likely. That's what I'm guessing anyway. Or it is open front loader tools. One of those. It's either front loader or it's the crane. So now if we go back to, to gamepad here, we need extend crane arm. Uh, no. Gamepad. There we go. So extend crane arm. So that one here. And we want to go this way. Actually, bump the button there. My fault. Go. Let's uh, save that here. Let's see if that works. There we go. And I got it backwards. Okay. Should have known, right? Extend crane arm. We want to go that way. Come on. That was working. Oh, gamepad. Duh. Uh, extend crane arm. Oh, it's the same way, right? We need that way. Oh, did it, fl it flip flopped him by itself? Okay, never mind. I might still be backwards then. Yeah, I'm still backwards. Okay, I didn't catch that one that it flip flopped it itself. Okay, back to extend crane arm. We need to go that way. Oh. Oh, still careful. Getting in the dead zone there. There we go. You gotta watch them, I and if it uh, shows both of them, then we're, uh, we're moving both at the same time. We don't want to do that. There we go. Okay, so we can pivot. Stick up and down. Boom, up and down. There we go. Now we're ready to move, Evan. Let's try digging some dirt here. So, yeah, for those who are wondering, when the, uh, the first time I set up both my joysticks, that's pretty much what I had to do, Evan. Uh, I just had to go through and figure out which one was which. And uh, at least in my opinion, I'm the easiest way to do that. Just to actually, you know, like go to your keyboard here. Figure out what is on the keyboard, and then you can uh, map that to, like, okay, rotate crane right is K and M. So go to the gamepad. That's the one you need there as well. That way you got a hard key binding that you know. They got so many controls on them. I'm not even sure what all these do in some cases. <laughs> I don't know. And then, again, you have front loader controls, and you have crane controls. And I think, is there one more yet? I think that actually might, might be it. Yeah, you got some hydraulic stuff here, too, that actually... So yeah, there it is again, like full, well, that's a drawbar, but still, some of the same controls are used twice. Anyway, let's get our settings set up here. So we want to go to dirt. We're probably going to use the same settings here as we were using before. Crank that up to 200, lower that down to 10%. And that should be good there. Change it to lower, turn it on, and we're ready to start digging, everyone. Let's start digging. Let's see what's how this thing digs. Thirty yard bucket. Wow, that's uh that's a lot of yards in that bucket. Okay, my stick is backwards. I might have to fix that one. Yeah, the stick is backwards. Just dump that pile out right there. Uh so yeah, when I pull in on the stick, everyone, it is and most of you folks might think that's right. That is actually wrong. When I'm pulling in on the stick, I'm gonna actually the stick. Or I think it's also what it could be called. Is it the dipper? I think they usually call it the stick on an excavator. It needs to come towards me like that, everyone. So, like, when I'm pushing away, it comes towards me. When I'm pulling on the stick, it's going away from me, which is, again, that's just backwards. So, which one is that here? Jane N. P and M. Let's turn. So, it must be shift. Shift J and N. 
Now, the only annoying thing with this F1, all the excavators I've had so far have had the same controls. Now, of course, when I get this one, Evan, it's backwards from the rest. So, now if I go to try to, like, use the do sand, it's going to... Oh, my goodness. Anyway, I'll just have to remember that. It's not like we can use more than one excavator at a time, anyway. So, J and N with left shift. Back to our controls again, everyone. Hey, yay, yay. And that is probably under crane again, because that's where the rest of them are. So left shift, J and N, raise crane arm one and, well, two, I guess. Raise and lower crane arm two. So game pad. We need this one. And we need to be that positive. Okay, try that again. Nope. There we go. Yep, positive. That should do it. Okay. There we go. And now we're ready. Okay, can I get my view right? Also get our trucks moving here. It's gonna take us just all up, so just to like get set up here, it seems like. But um wait a minute. Why why no work? You were work just working a minute ago. What? What happened? Why is this no working? Oh, crap. Well, that really doesn't help, does it? There we go. Okay. Turn off heavy lift. That way I can't accidentally pick them up. Okay, we'll turn you on. Of course, the next, uh, I think, big perch, seven is we're going to have to pick up a couple. I think they were Volvo-branded trucks as well, right? I think we'll have to get a couple more of those, Evan. That's what I'm thinking, anyway. Get a couple of the big Volvo trucks. That sounds pretty good to me. Nope, that is not a Volvo truck. Where's the other? Where's the other truck? And, of course, when I say Volvo trucks, I'm not talking the ones we currently have, Evan. I'm talking the, uh, was it 100s? The 100-ton 100 trucks? These are 60-ton trucks. You know, the Volvo A60s, A60Hs. I think it was the Volvo, I'd like to say RE100 or something like that. Sounds right to me, but I could be wrong on that. Don't quote me on those numbers. Oh, we got another truck pulling up, Evan. Work time. We gotta go. Start digging. And apparently that's about the limit of that belt. Again, a little bit larger uh, radius on these belts would definitely be kind of nice, Evan, but oh well. Again, I don't want to dump too close to the belt. Otherwise, we get underneath the belt, picks it up, and well, obviously does all kinds of th bad things to it. Don't want that happening if we can help it. Also, I'm not mistaken, I think this one has purple dots on it. All the rest have had blue dots. Maybe just that's the way uh, Terraform is. The mod author can uh, pick what color they want. I, don't, I have no idea, Evan. No idea. I'm not, uh, like, super well-versed here in all the Terraform mechanics, I guess you could say. That being said, I, mean, I think we're moving the dirt uh, fairly quickly here. Nope, too far. I think, anyway. Seems like the uh, bucket here on the 950 empties just a little bit better here than the dew sand did. Probably crank up the percentage here just a little bit so this bucket will fill up a little faster. Being that it holds a little bit more, it doesn't fill up quite as fast as the other one.
Anyway, well, I'll read a few uh, comments here. Whoa, didn't mean to be spilling the dirt there. That was a little bit annoying. Back up here just a little bit more. Uh, oh, yeah, Darren left a comment here from last episode. Uh, yeah, I think he heard my uh, comment. I think it was talking about the fuel prices there. He was saying my Raptor has a 34-gallon fuel tank, so I'm all for mean tweets. <laughs> I bet you are there, Darren, right? Ugh. Uh, fortunately, my truck does not have that large a fuel tank. My truck just has a, I think it's 17 or 18 gallon fuel tank on my truck. Uh, for those of you, obviously, I've done quite a few videos on my truck, so for those of you don't know what truck I have, I've just got a little 1988, Evan. Yes, 1988 Ford Ranger. So, nice little truck, uh, especially when it comes uh, winter time here. Has, you know, the four wheel drive on it. Living out in the, uh, the country, kind of need that in the winter almost. Always, uh, there's going to be days you're just, you're not going anywhere without four-wheel drive. Which, I mean, it would be fine with me, you know, but, uh, something about, you know, work and, like, you got to be here and, uh, you're rubbish like that. But, yeah, anyway, I'm with Darren on this one. I'll, I'll, I'll take, uh, mean tweets for, uh, $2 gas. Anyone else, uh, signing up? Mean tweets for $2 gas? Or actually, I think we were under $2 there for a while, weren't we, Evan? I don't remember. I think we are like, down a dollar... I'd like say it was like $1.50, $1.60 there for a while, one. Yeah, sign me up for that, huh? Take some more of that gas. I don't know about uh, the rest of you folks out there, but the gas prices, at least around where I live, they are, they're not good at the moment. Not good. It's going up like another, uh, not quite a dollar, I guess, but like another good 75 cents or so, I'd say what it was here a couple of weeks ago. I'm not sure what the reason for that was. Well, actually, I think I probably know what the reason for that was. Don't care to get too much into politics and news here in the videos usually, Evan, but uh, it sounds like that was probably uh, probably the Middle East, uh, given our, <clears throat> our illustrious leader here, a uh, big fat middle finger. Okay, why is this not working? It'll not work. What? You just filled up, like, how many trucks? Uh, is this, this is out of line. How did this get out of line? I confused. There we go. That was a little too far. Oh, well, it's working. We'll go with it. Okay, why'd you stop working? Why, what What happened? It's no work. Oh, I meant... that's I'm in the belt. That's why. Okay, never mind. I'll be quiet now. There we go. It's the same view, right, everyone? I thought it was the same view. Nope. Guess not. Uh, Matt was saying, you when you put your truck under the uh, taillight belt, uh, you have to get into the truck and activate the filling. It doesn't automatically load the truck. Um, I actually did try that there, uh, Matt. I did try that. He's talking about, I'm assuming, the tailings. Oh, yeah, the tailings belt. Yep. And you have to activate the filling. I, I did try that, unless I was maybe just uh, pushing the wrong button. Or maybe I don't know what the button is. That could very well be as well. But I could not get the... Uh, the tailings to actually like load in the truck, which we're just automatically selling them. <laughs> Probably should have done that right away, to be honest. That's easier. I was planning on selling the tailings, but uh, oh well. Uh, again, by the way, gotta say a big thanks to all you folks on the uh, the comments here uh, with this series. I've been very, very helpful. Uh, you know, just a lot of stuff going on here when it comes to this uh, construction, everyone. And definitely the combined knowledge here. Uh, you know, the little bit I know with the a lot of bit all you folks know definitely helps a lot. Uh, Jacob was saying it looks like the tracks on the D, uh, the Cat D11 are acting as a leveler. And uh, yeah, I think Jacob is right on that one. I mean, it does look like the tracks on the Cat D11 act as a leveler. Uh, talking about like if you're doing silage and stuff, I mean, that's kind of way the tracks I would say act on that one. Which is not exactly probably a, a mechanic you really want when you're trying to do what we're doing here. But uh, alas, what are you supposed to do? Oh boy, looks like we need to ban Ethan here. Uh, Ethan was saying, I smelled snow in the air last Friday. Yep, we're, we're banning Ethan. We, we don't mention the S word around here. I'm a, nope, nope, not yet anyway. 
Apparently, I need to be careful how I tip this bucket. It'll just, uh, it'll pick it up and then tip it out at the same time. Can't say that's a problem I've had with the other belts. Oh. Oh. Too close. Like I said, I want to try to avoid that if I can. Um, anyway, going back to Ethan's comment, he said he smelled snow in the air last Friday. Saw a little on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, Fort Wayne, Indiana, really saw some snow, though. Really? Wow. Indiana, huh? I don't think we've had any snow in Michigan, Michigan yet that I know of. He said I've seen. I'll try to keep it that way for a while yet, if you ask me. Well, let's see what's here. Uh, there's no truck. Oh, there's a truck pulling in. Got to say, one for those of you who uh, never tried this before, it is quite uh, therapeutic and relaxing here. Just uh, sitting here digging dirt, everyone. And, and in fact, I would argue, you know, Farming Simulator in general is kind of a therapeutic game. You know, unless you're, of course, you're uh, trying to maybe do some logging or picking up bales realistically using forks and trailers and stuff like that everyone there's nothing in this game to uh, you really get excited about like I said unless of course you're uh, logging or something like that then uh, yeah I can definitely see some rage quitting happening there <laughs> and uh, just uh, you know rage in general yeah Th those activities can definitely be uh, rage inducing in the game Kind of like the uh, the physics we were talking about here earlier this episode. When it comes to moving uh, material around with the bulldozer there. And like I said, I could be wrong on it, but I'm pretty sure that's probably an in-game mechanic. And it's just an in-game mechanic that uh, it, do it doesn't work well, everyone, right? It's the same thing like when we try to push snow, everyone. Like how well does pushing snow work in the game? And again, that is definitely an in-game mechanic here. Through the belt there. Uh, yeah, so how well does pushing snow work? Not very well, right, everyone? Not very well, at least if you ask me anyway. I think we need to get another belt on order here. We're pretty much... Actually, you know what? Are we extended? I think we're extended all the way out here. Actually, maybe not. We might actually have a little more room on this one yet. Nope, never mind. We are extended all the way out. I tried to extend it further. It didn't go anywhere, so... Uh, we are extended all the way. Max extension. Time for another belt. I'm used to the like the red and green dots. I mean, this one has like purple and blue dots. A little bit, uh, a little bit different than the rest of the... Para farm equipment that I have had so far. Not complaining though, not complaining. Rather enjoying this excavator. We're really, uh, I'm really moving the dirt with this one. I think we need some larger uh, trucks now. We got a trucks though. How are we looking on our factory here, our wash plant, gold wash plant? Okay, so we're not full on dirt by any means, but uh, we should be keeping it. I would imagine we're probably keeping it somewhat full. I think everyone. At least enough dirt so that it's continuously working anyway. We used just a little over 100 gallons of fuel there so far. Definitely doesn't seem like it goes to the fuel. Wow, that's, why is that so full? Whoa. Where did all this gold come from? I did not realize we had that much gold. Hmm. Okay, I, I guess I think we need to... Uh, We'll take care of that next episode then. Oh, oh my goodness. Speaking of next episode, I just looked at the time. I didn't realize it was that later. Okay. It is time to wrap it up here this episode. And you know the saying when you're having fun, right? Uh, so, yeah. Again, if you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to uh, leave them down below. And as always, I want to thanks for watching. And until next time.